you thought this was real. It's not. It's actually a projection. And we're using a BenQ projector to show the projection, which we're going to talk about in this video. So for the past few months, we have been exploring the 3D world. If you've ever watched the behind the scenes of The Mandalorian, you can see that they use these massive LED screens to show the world's background. But um, we don't have the money or a big enough space to afford these gigantic LED screens. So the next best alternative is to try it out with a projector. The best type of projector to use for this kind of situations would be a short throw projector. But while we are figuring out this solution, BenQ centers the X3000i projector, which is capable of 4K projection and has a brightness of 3000 lumens. So we decided that this could be the next best thing. We slapped together an Unreal scene by just using some pre-available assets and just in a couple of hours managed to get a nice rooftop scene. Going through this, we realized a few issues that we had to face when doing this. The first and the biggest factor is lighting. So, I'm no expert in lighting, but I'm going to pass this part over to Uma so he can explain to you kind of what we did to get a very nice lighted up scene. Alright, so to light up this scene and Tarvin pretending to be on a rooftop bar kind of thing here, uh, we actually lit it up with the projector here to give us the background image. So it's all created using 3D and images and stuff. Uh, but then we want to match the ambience of the scene as well. So we have one light right here above me. This is the NAN light. So this is lighting up Tarvin's front side. You can see it's like top down so it's not too harsh and you get like a more realistic. It's at a very low power, right now slightly higher so you can see me. Uh, and then also the sides, which is very, very important, is the practical lighting. To make it look like the background is interacting with Tarvin, we have to put like blue colored lights on both sides. So I've got one off to the left here and one off to the right, both of which create this sort of light around me. So if we turn off this light, you can see how it sort of affects the edges, which you really, really want for these kind of shots to really sell the final look. The last thing we did is adjust the white balance to make everything cooler, uh, which obviously sells the effect that we're actually in that background behind us. Now, obviously, you can adjust this in many different ways, but we found that this style was what we were going for, and it's just the simple fact that we just like it more than the other styles that we tried. After that, we just get the camera up and running and set the aperture to a lower value so we can get that nice natural bokeh effect to further sell the scene. And voila! We are done. We also tried it with different scenes just for the fun of it. X3000i is technically a gaming projector and it's capable of 4K at 60Hz or 180p at 240Hz. But what I found to be most impressive is that it supports 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut and HDR, which was really helpful when it came to what we wanted to do. All of this tie hand in hand with what you would expect from a powerful gaming projector. We also showed that this projector can be used for more than just gaming, right? We showed you virtual production doing with this projector and we definitely want to try it out more in the future with different types of projectors. So if you want to see more of that kind of videos, you know what to do, the button's down there. We have some links in the description below and I'll see you in the next video.